All right, I guess, uh, Paul, the one word I can use to describe today, mm -hmm. perfect. It was really nice. It, it got a little be any better. breezy this afternoon, yeah. but a lot of sunshine, just a few yeah. high clouds out there. Started off with a lot of fog this morning, but once that dissipated, boy, everything just looked great. I know, just so, uh, lots of sunshine, enjoyed it. We'll see if we can keep Hopefully it going again tomorrow. We did actually pick up a little bit of rain officially today. It happened right after midnight. Six one hundredths of an inch of rain puts us up to just over three inches of rain for the month of March. That's a good thing. That's three quarters of an inch above average, but even with that, that surplus, we're still only around eight inches for the year so far in 2017. That puts us over two inches behind the pace. A couple more rain chances in sight over the next few days. We'll see if we can chip away at that rainfall deficit. We're not in drought conditions. The U.S. Drought Monitor has classified pretty much the entire mid state as just abnormally dry. Again, running that rainfall deficit, but it's not as bad as the drought conditions that are off to our southeast. Portions of East Tennessee, Georgia, and North Carolina still in extreme, even exceptional drought conditions. We could use a little bit more rain to wash some pollen out of the air as well. Yesterday night's rain help, but it's going to climb back to the medium high category for the pollen count tomorrow. So if you've been suffering from seasonal allergies a little early in the spring season, yeah, tomorrow's not going to be the best day. Juniper and maple are the main types of pollen causing folks some issues right now. Looking outside, plenty of sunshine out there on this Saturday evening. The wind whipping around a little bit, bringing cooler air into the mid state, but just some high cloud cover overhead. And that's not very good at holding any warmth near the ground. So clouds usually act like a blanket to help insulate the ground at night. These clouds aren't substantial enough to really make much of a difference. Our temperatures are going to drop off very quickly as the sun goes down this evening. They've been dropping since the wind started kicking up out of the north, but we're still at 62 degrees and that's not too bad. In fact, that's exactly the average high temperature for today. 53 degrees only in Spring Hill, 59 in Clarksville. Temperatures mostly upper 50s, low 60s, not bad at all. A little warmer as you look to the southwest where that cooler air has not quite made it in from the north just yet. But we're going to cool off pretty quickly as we head through the evening. We're going to be down to the mid 40s already by 10 o'clock this evening. So if you're heading out and about, just grab a jacket. Even if you don't think you're going to need it as you're heading out the door, it's going to drop off, especially if you're going to be getting home a little bit later. Temperatures are going to be in the mid 30s to start off early tomorrow morning, but then lots of sunshine once again. A big warm up in store for us with temperatures up into the low to mid 50s by noon. Close to 60 degrees for high temperatures tomorrow afternoon. Should be really nice weather out there throughout the day. Let's check out the next chance of rain. That's going to head our way maybe on Monday, but it looks like most of that's going to just miss us off to the northeast. So a slight chance of a shower during the day Monday. A better chance of rain takes shape to our north and then drops down towards us Monday night into Tuesday. Once that system moves in, it's going to get kind of stuck overhead. So we're going to see intermittent showers and thunderstorms Monday night. Tuesday during the day, and it could linger a little bit longer into next week as well. The severe weather threat, though, is going to remain low overall, very low Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and we'll just call it plain old low on Tuesday. We'll keep an eye on things. It is springtime after all, at least it will be officially on Monday. That chance of showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday does not look like it's going to bring much of a severe weather threat. There is another chance of showers and storms that could be a little feistier by the time Friday night and Saturday roll around, but that's still a week away. We've got plenty of time to worry about that. Temperatures remaining actually pretty close to normal for the next several days. It's going to be real warm out there on Monday with highs in the mid 70s. No Joe Dubin loves that kind of weather. Ah, Paul, you're a smart man. All right, we're less than an hour away from the biggest moments in MTSU. Athletics history.